that when I was younger, I always, um, I was really inspired by watching my dad's old stag films, you know, um, Deep Throat, stuff like that, Debbie Does Dallas, you know, the classics of the field, back when porn was really about something, when it really, you know, when it meant something, and when it was about the, the act of love between a man and a woman, you and, know? And you? Uh, well, I was in film school, um, NYU, actually, uh, when I met Adam. And uh, work was tough to find, but uh, Adam had some jobs lined up. Mom kind of brought me in, and I've been trapped here ever since. Trapped? I don't think I don't think trap is, is the word for it. Uh, stuck. I've been stuck here ever since. So, what are you guys working on now? Um, it's called uh, Oedipusy. The Greek tragedy brought to porn. Finally. Kyle Humbert of DailyDirtyReviews.com wrote, Adam and Jerry are pretentious school children who simply cannot focus on the goal at hand. People watching porn do not want to be bombarded with tracking shots and pseudo-artistic nonsense. You apparently seem to have some detractors within this industry. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. I mean, detractors, whoever, whoever they are. Um, I, but I guess all great artists kind of had detractors, you know, when Orson Welles made Citizen Kane, he had detractors who said he couldn't do that, and when Kubrick was making Clockwork Orange, you know, or when Shakespeare, when he made Midsummer Night's Dream, he had detractors. Anyway, I think we do have some people who are, you know, getting what we're doing, you know? Yeah, which is just trying to make good porn. Well, like, good films, you know, and I think uh, a select few really are starting to appreciate that. Yeah. I think Adam and Jerry's impact on the industry is definitely going to be monumental. I think they're underappreciated right now, but um, I do think their time will definitely come. Can you please elaborate on why you think they're underappreciated? Well, for example, their first film, though it was, you know, a bit rough around the edges, was obviously a moving homage to Ingmar Bergman's persona, and... I just don't think most people in this industry have the capacity to understand something like that. In which movie was this? Lesbian Slumber Party. Hey honey, how's it going? So listen, um, I think maybe we could change it up tonight. And... Oh, first of all. How did you first meet Jerry? I was in NYU and I uh, went to a screening of uh, his first film, Ravage and Amber. It was so beautiful, I just had to be with him. And what do you think of his current work? Well, I fell in love with the man who made Ravage and Amber, not the man who made the lunch eater candidate. Uh, sorry about the mess. I'm not really uh, a good housekeeper. Natalie left me um, about a week ago. So it's been kind of hard time. But uh, I, got, I got a hamster to keep me company. Um, his name is Richard. He's brown and he has just the cutest. I've got some really, I think, exciting ideas. I have uh, an idea for a new film that's kind of confronting the race issue in America today, but in, a, in an artful way, in a mature way. And I found this great actor, um, his name is Tim Digger, and I was thinking about calling it, you know, Do the Right Tim. And I was hoping to get that started, you know, within the next six months, I'm hoping to... Jerry? It, it's a really weird situation, because, you know, it seemed like he was so gung-ho with the projects, and, you know, when we were younger, when we were still in school, we were going to be, you know, cowboys on the new frontier, making these movies and shooting from the hip, and it was just going to be, it was just going to be about him and me, you know, brothers, and... He just kind of lost his edge, I guess. You know, some people look at the industry and they just can't see past the, the sex. And, and it's more than sex, you know? Pornography is like the lubricant of our society. It beats down hard on our Puritan values and the ideals we were raised with. And wh what are you doing? I got a shave this morning. And I need a fluffer. 